Welcome back, humans! After a long hiatus, we've been doing some track upgrades, making the signs look better, making the track look better. Here we go, folks. It's going to be Beaverworks Diecast Racing and the Igloo Proving Grounds bringing you the next Stone Road Challenge. Oh, yeah, this is our heavy off road course. We've got a rubber tire going up against a hard plastic tire, M2 machines going up against the Hot Wheels. All right, let's see how this works out. Vehicles. Five out of ten from the 2023 The 80s series. This is the debut of the mainline version of this vehicle. Apparently, there's been a couple of premium versions when they really gouge you. Anyways, it's got a great balance for off road. Let's see how it does on the stone road. M2 machine smashing it out of the park with this Sierra 1500. What a beautiful looking casting with the details on the tires. Like even the tires have got the raised white BF Goodrich lettering on them. This is awesome. Great specs, nice and heavy. Should do great on the run. They are up against the Stone Road Challenge, folks. This is 150 centimeters of rocks and logs and curves. And we even put a little bit of a bonus section at the end. That means rules are best time or best distance or best time plus the bonus distance and each vehicle will get two runs. Run, 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 run. The Hot Wheels 1988 Jeep Wagoneers in the gate. Here he goes. Let's see how this works out for him. He's going down good, staying on top of the logs. I think pretty light, but digs in on the deep stuff just before the logs and gets on his roof. That is not how you make it to the bottom of the stone road, folks. That's a DNF. Let's go check out some replays coming from the top down and then going from the bottom up. We can see wipes out about halfway down there on the lid is not making it to the bottom. He made it about 104 centimeters for the Jeep wagon ear on the first run. Let's check out the igloo replay. This is where we get to see the rocks flying. This is going to be the track isolation noise. So you can actually hear those plastic tires bouncing against the rocks getting all dug in right there and over it goes turtled before he gets to the logs. There it is, run number one for the Jeep Wagoneer is going to net him 104 centimeters and a DNF. Run, run two. two. Here we go, first run in that stellar GMC Sierra. Let's see how this M2 machine handles it going down on top of the box. He's got it. It's all wound out. He's moved and then he loses it just before the logs. There's a cursed spot on this round so far. Looks like he rolled up the side, couldn't straighten out and just slammed down right in the middle of that pile of logs. There it is from the top down, bottom up, damn it. Boom! Almost a little bit further. Still didn't make the full run. He got to 126 centimeters for the Sierra on the first run. Here it is in the igloo replay, folks. He is off the gate nice. Getting a little sideways there already. Getting a little dug in. Still trying to figure out the track. First run in that big old M2. And he gets thrown around there. And just before the logs, rides up on the side and ends up throwing it down on the driver's side. Almost made it down to the announcer booth here. 126 centimeters for the GMC on its first run. That means round one goes to the GMC with 126 centimeters to Jeep coming off with 104. Greenlight 70 Fire Chicken. Very nice. Beaverworks International, folks. Gravity Throttle Racing has got RU Trucking 2 going on right now. There is time trials over on the YouTube shorts on the channel. Get over to Gravity Throttle Racing and check that out. Meanwhile, Monster Motorsports has started up Koopa Cabana, the Viper Edition, and Beaverworks has got an entry. Get over to Monster Motorsports, check that out. Then, Junkyard Joust has got the Apocalypse shows going on. Baby Cookie is getting ready to reveal the Beaverworks team. Team. Get over to Junkyard Joust and check that out. And Griffin Soul in beautiful Hawaii is doing the Team Mixer Challenge right now. And Beaverworks is in for a piece of that on the Northern All-Stars team. Get over to Griffin Soul Racing and check it out. Run, Run three. three. 
All right, here we go. Second run for the Jeep Wagoneer. This Hot Wheels with the big tire is going to try and beat the distance from before and maybe even get a whole run. He's doing good so far. Good momentum through the logs. And it's the log gets him again. He is on his lid just before the finish line. Come on, what is that? Just didn't quite get the distance he needed. So it's going to be another measurement, not a full run. DNF, second run for the Wagoneer. Top up, bottom down camera, and you can see right there just a about made it. What a bummer that one is. 147 centimeters he gets, just short of the 150, which would be a full run on the stone road. Checking out the igloo replay, bouncing on top of the logs. He's getting good momentum, great speed, throwing rocks all over the place, making it look excellent. That's what we like to see on the stone road. And then through the logs, looks like he's going to be clear. And at the last minute, gets a bounce. Just a bad boink, and right before the line, he's on his lid again. Gets 147 centimeters on the second run. Run, run, four. All right, here we go. GMC Sierra for its second run of the evening. Here he goes. Down off the line, and it looks like he's going to have some good momentum on this. Digging in, going fast through the logs. Makes it, spits a log out the end, and he is over top of the line, right on top of it. Bouncing around on there. Look at that. High sided both of the axles, might have made it a few extra centimeters, but still full run with a 7.40 time. Started to think that we're going to have a night without a full run, but there it is. GMC Sierra pulls it off, gets down over the line, throws a log down there with him. This is where we take the plus measurement, and this is going to be plus 9.5 after the finish line. Great stuff. That's the new thing we're doing here at the Stone Road, folks. Anyways, Igloo Replay. Let's see how that run come together. Holding it together at the top. Bouncing around. Making it look awesome. Then just punches the throttle right through the logs and takes one with it. Looks like a tire hit it and then bounced it all the way forward. And then he just high sided his axles on the finish line. Great looking run and netted him a 7.40 time. Final results, 147 centimeter distance was the best the Wagoneer could muster. And it's going for the GMC Sierra with a 7.40 time and a 9.5 centimeter bonus distance at the end. M2 Machines doing a great job on on that Sierra looks awesome performed excellent going down the stone road this week there's your winner the M2 machines GMC Sierra and big hats off to the Hot Wheels making an excellent look and casting Jeep Wagoneer performed good just didn't quite catch up to that M2 and that is wrapping it up for the first run back on the new and improved stone road this week's episode was brought to you by the Beaver Works Race Shop. Folks, we have got cars coming out of the race shop, going all over the world for different tracks. Make sure you check them out. Links are going to be in the descriptions and all from the Beaver Works Race Shop. All right, folks, that's wrapping it up for this episode of The Stone Road. First one back with all the new stuff. Leave a comment. Let us know if you like the improvements. Don't forget to check out our Facebook and our TikTok, and we've got a couple of other social media platforms. We're working on that. We kind of suck. Big Beaverworks track. Shout out to all you folks for watching our stuff from Beaverworks Diecast Racing. We'll see you next time.